Hello, everyone, and welcome to the South 78 football show. We are right here at the Raising Canes in Byron, Mississippi. This is week seven of the Terry Bulldogs football season. I am Trellis Williams right here with me, Coach Chris Thigpen of the Terry Bulldogs. And, uh, Coach, so far this year, uh, four and two in non-region play. You're going and starting region play this week as you – uh, take on uh, West Jones, right. the Mustangs. Uh, they're undefeated so far this year, so they are having a good season thus far. You guys are coming off of a tough loss there on the road uh, to the Clinton Arrows. Um, just kind of talk about that uh, Clinton game and just what your takeaways overall were from it. Well, well, when I was scheduling our non-region, you know, the goal is, you know, always, you know, you schedule four games, you kind of feel really good about – and then two that you're really kind of unsure about and, you know, uh, or, or two games that you think you would get a really good test right before region play. Um, for us, you know, Vicksburg and um, this past week, you know, we felt like it was a one-possession game at the end of the yeah. game. Um, we felt like we, we lost those games as, as, you know, as opposed to us just being defeated. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. we, we we thought going into the Clinton game, you know, we had a really good matchup. Um, our defense, again, you know, did well. They they had the one drive where uh, they ate up a lot of uh, minutes in the third quarter, but, you know, that was one drive of the game. Other than that, you know, they got stops, they got turnovers offensively. They put our offense in a really good position to score points. Uh, and, and, again, we didn't do that when we needed it the most. Um, our guys are really playing hard. They're taking the coaching. And so I'm excited to see how we rebound this week. We're playing probably maybe the best team at this point in region. As you said, they're undefeated. West Jones has a history of uh, being a contending program at least the last 20 years. Uh, the former coach, Scott Pearson, re resigned, and they have a new head coach in Corey Reynolds, who, who's a great coach, uh, but even a better man. And so – that program has seen success for years and years. And so, you know, we, we, we know what we're facing going in there. Our kids have never played play them, but as a head coach, I kind of know what we're up against, okay? They, they may not be the most athletic, but collectively they're going to play hard and they'll play uh, together. So it's a challenge for us. It's our first region game. And I'm excited to see how our guys respond when we go to a new place on the road and take on uh, this new team we haven't played at any point since I've been head coach of Terry. Yeah, and this is uh, not the first road game of the season, obviously, but but the first uh, road uh, game that you've had to travel uh, right. this season, like any kind of distance. I mean, all the other ones have been in the Jackson area. Right. Um, so going down to West Jones, playing them, they're, no, they're ranked fifth in the state right now uh, with that undefeated record. Um, just kind of talk about uh, going back to the offense, um, you know, just had a little bit of struggles just getting in the end zone. Still got in the end zone uh, three times, uh, able to uh, lose it 28-21. But just talk about what kind of things on uh, offense that you guys have really been focused on this week. Well, when, when we go back and look at the numbers and the stats, um, the, the most disappointing thing to me is, is our passing game. Um, and that's with, with the guys that we have. We got to be much better um, in that area. We've been able to run the football on every team we've played, including Clinton. And um, we've done it for over 100 yards per game. So, um, but passing the ball, we have to be better at our passing game. Um, that's something I said in the post game after uh, we played Clinton. It was, you know, I got to coach that better. I'm responsible for that as head coach. And so, I have to put my players and my coaches in a better situation to have success in the passing game. Um, our quarterback is uh, very confident in himself when he runs the ball, and so uh, we got to help build him even more when it's time to throw the ball and get on a, a good um, – to have a better chemistry with our, our receivers as well. And you had Titus Kelly uh, return uh, last week. Uh, he had missed um, four uh, games uh, with with an injury um, after the first week. And then you played him 
and Ashton Fair uh, both in that game. Do you think that, the, that both of them playing might have maybe disrupted a little bit of rhythm at all? I mean, I know you wanted to get Titus Kelly back in there because he played really well that first week, so you want to get him back in. And if you never play him, he won't get back in. Right. But do you, like, what was the what was the thought process there? I know that that it, was a tough it, decision. It, it, it was possible that it disrupted some things, but, you know, um, he also helped us move the ball. So. For sure. But, you know, it's, it's like I told, you know, our coaches is that my only reservation for him coming back is, you know, I didn't want him to put be put in a position where he couldn't be successful. And then it got to a point in the game where, you know, if he had to avoid any uh, defender, he yeah. was really in a uh, compromising position. So we want our players to be able to protect themselves when they're out there on the field. Yes, he played with a brace. Uh, and so, you know, he's he's just questionable going forward. It's yeah. his senior year. He's been in our program since his freshman year. He's done everything we've asked him to do. Um, and he's grown as a player. He's grown and developed his game. And so yeah, for sure. he's played both sides. Um, he's an unselfish player. When, when Ashton is in, uh, you know, he's rooting for him. And, you know, Ashton and, and, and Titus is – has had a great relationship with yeah. it not being a competition. It's whatever to help the team. And so I've been really impressed by them, and that's what I want to see more from them. For sure. And, uh, you know, taking on West Jones, uh, defensively uh, you guys have really been able to handle a lot of the things that have uh, come at you. Played good enough defense to win every game mm -hmm. that you played. Uh, four and two with two losses being in within uh, one possession. Um, just kind of talk about how this defense is going to have to be ready to play against this West Jones offense, who has been rolling this year, uh, have had some big uh, blowout wins over some opponents. Right. Well, um, this may be our, our biggest, you know, challenge thus far. You know, every week we want to go 1-0, and oh, and that's the goal is to go 1-0, and oh, and that's why you got to play the game. Um, you know, I like – our guys, you know, we got our guys playing, so we don't have any key players out. We're getting a player back, I think, that will really help us on our defensive line in Jadarius Young. He's oh, good. been out, you know, um, since week three, I believe. Yeah. He's been out, so we, we'll get him back to play um, in spurts. And so, um, you know, we're, we're somewhat familiar with the play caller, uh, Coach Reynolds. We faced him last year at Oak Grove. They're doing some of the same things offensively. Uh, but they don't have the, the quarterback they had at Oak Grove. Yeah. The guy they, they have now at, at uh, West Jones, is a, he's a really good player uh, within their offense. He's a fast guy. He's an athlete back there. And so he does a really good job. And so, we, you know, we have our work cut out for us defensively. But, again, I, I like our defense. Um, Coach Crosby done a really good job of, having those guys prepared and getting those guys ready to play. Yeah, so my last question is, uh, this is the first region game. Um, how, are the, how, how are the guys' energy? Uh, because, I mean, you know that these are the games that actually count. Our, it, players, yeah. our players have done a really good job, I thought, of taking um, the things that we need to learn from and build on the past game into this week as far as practice. You know, our guys had to come in on Sunday, so they only really had a day of, a day of rest, uh, one day of rest. And so they came in, as I said, Sunday uh, with a great attitude. Um, and Monday and Tuesday were good practices for us. Um, we had a walk through today. So, but, but they know uh, we have guys that are two- and three-year starters. You'll talk yep. to a few of them uh, here shortly. Uh, they played a lot of football. And listen, man, I'm just – I'm excited for this game and for this team because these guys know they played the Brandons. They played the Warren Centrals. They played at Meridian. Uh, they played Pedals and Oak Grove. And so uh, West is similar to those teams. But I like to think our guys are battle-tested. We just want to come out on the winning end of a, a one-possession game. And so um, if we eliminate mistakes and um, – some of the mistakes that's been plaguing us, uh, the, the, you know, in our uh, losses, you know, we'll be fine against West Jones. And thank you, folks, uh, for joining us. We've got some more guests coming up right here on the South 78 Football Show. 
Are you seeking a new home or looking to sell yours? Well, you need to contact India Banks with CPA Realty. CPA Realty, serving clients in the Hines County area, including Terry and Byram, and even out to Edwards and Bolton. An accredited buyer's representative and military relocation professional, India Banks is committed to providing excellent customer service to her clients. Call 601-212-3418, 601-212-3418, CPA Realty. Hello, folks, and welcome back right here to the South 78 Football Show presented by CPA Realty. Right here with me is Orlando Brown, uh, offensive lineman, uh, senior for this Terry Bulldogs football team in Orlando. Man, my first question I want to ask you, man, is that so far this season your team is 4-2 and two on the year, uh, playing all nine region games so far. You're about to play the region game. What do you think about uh, you guys' chances as you take on West Jones? They're undefeated so far this season. Of course, you guys are just a couple possessions away from being undefeated, losing two. Both of your losses were one-possession games. Just what do you feel about your team's chances? Uh, I believe that if the whole team play as, like, on one accord, yeah. I believe we got a chance of beating them. But if we, like, separate, I don't think we, you know, it'll probably be a one-possession game again. But if we all locked, and on one accord, I believe we got a chance of being with Jones. Absolutely. And, uh, man, just uh, just talk about this unit, uh, just how this unit has uh, grown over the off season and just in the first half of this season. Like the, the whole team? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I believe that, like, we're starting to find a true bond as a team because at, you know, at the start, you know, as a different, like, running backs, O-line, we'll probably do stuff separate. But now we all are start, starting to come together, you know, as a team and do better. Yeah, yeah. And so – Talk about uh, your journey through football, just getting into football, like your your uh, your path. Oh, like you know, I joined the uh, you know Terry football team. That was my 10th grade spring. You know, I came. I ain't. I didn't play a single game last year. You know, varsity. I was playing JV. So I so over the summer, I was like, yeah, I'm finna try to work hard so I can start. You know, play varsity. And here I am now, starting left tackle for Terry. Yep. Absolutely, that's awesome, man. Um, so, what what would be a player or a team you watch that uh, you you look to uh, for your game? I like I like Trent Williams and Tyron Smith. I like the yeah. you know I like I like how they play the game and they don't cheat it. You know yeah. the dedication they put into the game. Yeah, for sure, man. I appreciate you joining us, Orlando. Uh, thank you very much. Hello, folks, and welcome back to the South 78 Football Show. I'm right here with Jaden Porter, um, offensive lineman for this Terry Bulldogs football team. And man, look, man, my first question is, man, this team so far this year four and two, good record. Both losses were one possession games, so should give you guys a lot of confidence when it comes to how good you are going into region play, taking on West Jones, number five team in the state. Good football team. They they're undefeated this year so far. Just talk of just preview that game for us. Uh, first off, I'm excited for the game. Uh, I feel like you know going in, we're gonna we're gonna do very good. We come out hard, you know that guy. We come out hard, you know we're gonna really bring it to them. Make sure they know that we're there, and just do everything that everybody in the state thinks that we can't do. Absolutely, and I. Also, just tell, just take us through your path, uh, your football journey. Oh uh, well, it started uh, back in third grade. Yeah, third oh, yeah. grade. I really didn't want to do it, but you know, I had to get active. Yeah. Because you know, I just didn't like being in the house. And ever since then, I just started loving it. And middle school, I just really knew it was time to get serious because uh, I knew I had a shot at doing something big yep. for myself. Yeah, yeah, man, for sure. And uh, so last season, I know that you dealt with a little bit of injury and you, you fought through to try to come back. But now this year, you're back, back fully in action. Just talk about that process of recovering and uh, coming into the season and your excitement heading into the season. Um, yeah, when it happened, you know, I was kind of heartbroken. But uh, it was good. Like the off season, the summer, I really had a chance to just find a whole another part of myself, uh, like just – Moving wise, I made sure that every day I iced my ankle and just stretched everything. I really took my body through a, a great process, a peaceful process to go into this season with no injuries and just making sure that I give it everything I got. For sure. And um, last question, just talking about this team, 
How's this team? How, in your view, how's this team come together so far this season? Um, it's going. It's better than ever. Uh, I look at previous years, and you know the bonds. They really weren't there how they are this year. I feel like just the the when we gather around each other, it's not because oh I play football or I play football with this person. It's really like a brotherhood. You know we. Whatever we need, whatever each other need, we got it. We got each other. Um, you know, just a brotherhood. That's what I love to see a brotherhood. Yep, absolutely. Man, appreciate you joining us for sure right here on the South 78 Football Show. All right, folks, we are right back right here on the show. I'm right here with T.J. Harmon, a senior offensive lineman for this Terry Bulldogs football team. And, uh, TJ, man, my first question is just uh, preview this uh, game, this first region game, taking on West Jones, number five team in the state. Uh, they're undefeated. Just uh, talk about that matchup with West Jones. Um, I feel like it's going to be a great matchup. I feel like our guys against their guys. 100% I got my guys. I feel like we're going to come you know, hard. We're going to hit them in their mouth. Absolutely. Second question uh, I got for you is, uh, so, so far this season, you know, taking two tough, close losses uh, to Vicksburg, and the Clinton, but they were two um, one-possession losses. I'll just kind of talk about what you guys learned from those losses. Um, pretty much we just learned to, you know, you know when times get tough, you got to keep your head up. Yeah. I feel like every time we somebody scores on us, we get our heads drop. But, you know, we've learned, you know, we got to keep our heads up. Um, we got to go out there. We got to just keep it, keep it mentally, you know, stable, you know. I feel like everybody just – they just get so down, but – you know, we try to get that positive light in the air, you know, get that positive energy in the air and let everybody know, you know, we got it, you know, it's all good if you lose, but, you know, let's just go out there and, you know, finish 100%. One thing that I have noticed that uh, the y'all's offensive line has uh, done a very good job because uh, quarterback has really been protect protected, not many sacks uh, this season, and the, and the running game's been good as well. Just talk about this offensive line and the strength of it. Uh, yeah, we've, we've got a lot better since uh, last year. We had our coach, uh, Coach Wilson, come in. And, you know, he helped us a lot with our technique. And then we had another coach come in, Coach Carter. And he helped us with, you know, more aggressive, aggression. And I feel like it just, it just helped us so much. And I'm really thankful that it has. And definitely uh, last question I have for you is just uh, take us through your football journey uh, as a football player over the years. Um, well, I started off when I was six years old playing with the 49ers. And then I um, – I came here in ninth grade and I started playing, but I didn't I didn't get any playing time because I kept skipping practice. But <laughs> luckily I got it together around 10th grade and 11th grade I was starting. And um, my season was cut short last year because I had got a, a, a injury. Yeah. But I came back and I'm you know I'm stronger, I'm better, and I'm just ball, I'm just balling out right now. Absolutely, uh, man. TJ, appreciate you joining us yes, for sir. sure. Yep. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the South 78 football show presented by CPA Realty. I am Trellis Williams, and right here with me is Micah White, linebacker for the freshman Terry Bulldogs football team. And, Micah, man, my first question for you is that, so going through the season so far, just uh, how have you felt your team has performed thus far? Uh, we had a little rocky start at the beginning of the season, but uh, lately we have been pushing through and winning on a two-game win streak right now. And we have pushed through, and yeah, it just, yeah. Absolutely, man. Just talk about your own personal development. I mean, you're a freshman, so you're still wanting to develop uh, for the future here. Um, just talk about your own personal development as a linebacker. Uh, yeah, I've been since uh, coming into high school. I've been trying to, you know, develop myself, getting adjusted to everything, the new coaching and uh, the new coaching methods and stuff. And yeah, I'm just trying to find my way through the lineup. So how confident do you feel coming through that you'll be able to uh, pick up the things on the uh, on the varsity teams, uh, you know, pick up the things that are going on on the varsity team once you move on next year? Uh, I feel very confident because I know my skills and that I've developed greatly from middle school. So I feel very confident that my skills are going to perform on the varsity level. Absolutely. Last question for, uh, for you is that what professional or college player do you model your game after? Um... I would probably have to say DeMario Davis because oh, gotcha. he's a very explosive player, and I think I'm a very explosive player myself because, you know, he makes big plays in the NFL level and I make big plays in the ninth grade level. Absolutely, man. 
Mike, I appreciate talking to you for sure. Yes, Hello and welcome back. I'm right here with Keeson Kendrick, wide receiver for the freshman football team on for the Terry Bulldogs. And, uh, Keeson, man, my first question for you is that um, so, so far this season, I know that right now you guys are on a two-game winning streak. Just talk about being able to bounce back from losing at the, at the beginning of the season to winning now. Uh, you know, like it was an adjustment. Like, you know, everybody, like, going back to school, everybody talking about us and stuff, like, that kind of, like, motivated us, like, got us to push ourselves more, like, work harder as a team at practice and just go out there and play and, like, compete. That's really it. A absolutely. Talk about, uh, just talk about your development personally as a uh, as an individual player uh, at that wide receiver position. Uh, like, I'm not going to say, like, I'm just, like, the best person at the position, but, like, like, I'm still learning. Like, it's still a lot more improvement I got. Like, with blocking, getting more physical and stuff. Like, like, like this this summer, like, like, I feel like I need to get in the weight room more and, like, push myself more, work harder. So I know, like, because I know, like, next year, like, it ain't just going to be as easy. It's not going to all just come to me, like, yeah. actually varsity. So, like, it's actually going to be people out there that's uh -huh. trying to come harder than what freshmen team or players do. Like. Yeah, what would you say is your best strength there at that uh, receiver position? Uh, probably, probably my catching ability. Yeah, absolutely. What is a player, uh, professional or college, that you model your game after? Uh, uh I say like C.D. Lamb or somebody. Gotcha. C.D. Lamb. Yeah, absolutely, man. Appreciate you joining us, uh, Keeson, for sure. Appreciate it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the South 78 Football Show presented by CPA Realty right here on the TSJW Network from the Raising Canes in Byron, Mississippi. I am Trellis Williams, and right here with me is Braylon Bonds, running back for the freshman Terry Bulldogs football team. And Braylon, man, just want to start out uh, by asking you just about this team and, the, and its development. You turn a uh, losing streak into a two-game winning streak here in the last two weeks. Just talk about that transformation. I mean, the first, like, the start of the season, it was it was a tough start at the beginning of the season because I feel like we didn't we didn't know how to put our pieces together. But after our third and fourth loss, we realized we got to start coming together as a team. And we start to put that together now and to see where we're getting is now. And we just want to carry that to next week for our final game of the season. Definitely. And uh, w just talk about your development as a running back. And uh, Because, I mean, you're a freshman now, so you got three more years that you want to uh, continue to develop. Just uh, talk about your development thus far. I mean, East Pat, like, compared to last year and this year, I've seen a lot of, lot of, lot of getting better in me. I feel like I showed a lot more in me this year than – I feel like I got a bunch of potential, and once I get older and get on a varsity level, it's going to come out even more, and I'm going to do my best to get get farther in life. Yeah. How, how confident do you feel that you'll be able to to just get on that varsity level and kind of know what's going on on that varsity level? How do, how do you uh, – how confident do you feel about that transition? I feel like once I, once I, get, once I get comfortable with it and once I realize what, what I need to do to uh, better myself, I feel like I'm going to be perfectly fine. Absolutely. And uh, my, uh, my last question is, what is a college or professional player that you model your game after? Uh, I'm a, I, sometimes I can model myself as a Jonathan Taylor because right. I, I feel like I can explode like him and uh, whenever coach needs me to get the job done, I feel like I can do it for him. Absolutely. Man, Braylon, I appreciate you joining us, and thank you all for joining us as well. This is the South 78 Football Show presented by CPA Realty. Tomorrow night, uh, the Terry Bulldogs, uh, the varsity team, will be traveling down to Laurel, Mississippi, to take on the West Jones Mustangs, the undefeated West Jones Mustangs. You can watch that right here on the TSJW Network YouTube channel live. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Thank you for joining us, and please follow the Instagram at TSJW Network as well as check out the website, tsjwnetwork.net, and please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for joining us. I am Trellis Williams. We out.